Hello, people who can't help but wonder how beautiful I am. And if you're wondering, yes, it is very, very beautiful. And welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. This is part... 13. That took me a while to figure out. Um... So, there is more of this Cuckoo's Lady quest, but I just wanted to make enough money to get that boomerang. Because we can't actually finish the whole thing off anyway. Because eventually one of them will be on the other side of this area. And there's a dog blocking the way we want to go there. So, for now, let's just head up here. And do one more side thing before we continue on with the storyline. Uh, come in here. There's this guy who wants to fuse kinstones. Um, so let's see if we have the right one. Oh, we don't even have the right kinstone. Never mind, uh, we'll do that later. I guess on with some story. Head out this way. Um, it's down this ladder. And now that we have the ability to split, we can go ahead and create a doppelganger and push this rock out of the way. Let's head up here. I like how they both climb up the ladder. <laughs> bomb this wall. Faster bombs. There we go. Ooh, tombstone piece. Actually, check quickly. Okay, never mind. I saw it was a red one, so I was like, oh, it might be the one that guy was looking for. Actually, I can't. Um, unless I have my kinstone bag open, I can't actually tell the difference between the red and green ones when he picks them out. I used to think there was actually only two colors of kinstones, because I'm colorblind, but. Yeah, I found out there's three red, green, and blue. Eh, what a strange feeling. Or, A, I guess that's pronounced. I sent something from the castle's direction. Or was it just me? Exclamation point! Hmm? Who's there? What body? How did you get in here? Because he couldn't have walked. That probably took longer. But he's a sorcerer, so he doesn't have to walk. Uh what what are you doing? Ah ha 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 ha. I think I said the right number of haws that time. Hmm. Looks like the king's calling his men. It looks like you're all here. Oh, very well. The king of Hyrule has words for you. You all know the power the Pickery gave to mankind, do you not? The golden light of limit, the golden light force of limitless magical power. I want it. It is somewhere here in Hyrule. Go now and bring me this power. Hmm. That seems unusual for the king. Waste no time. Go forth at once and bring me the light force. Fling anyone who refuses and into the dungeon. Him and his family too. What if a female refuses? Her and his her family? I don't know. He didn't say anything about that. I will tolerate no disobedience. Now search high and low throughout the lands of Hyrule. So it looks like Vadi took over the king's body? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's just the wind, but I hope nothing bad has happened. We need to look for the next element. The map says it should be somewhere around here. Well then, let's go search for it. Oh, too far? <laughs> Head left over here. Up here, there's moblins around here now. Whatever. Um... So these are the Caster Wilds. Oh, so this must be the Caster Wilds. It's a nasty, dank place filled with swampland and mire. But we know there's an element waiting for us somewhere in here, so... 
In we go, Link. Come on, Link. Or in we go. Come on, Link. Into the muck with us. Ah, ah, we're sinking. Hey, Link, watch your feet. You're sinking. You're sinking. If you sink all the way in, I'm going to get muddy. I don't think we can just walk across this swamp. We're going to have to find some way to get across safely. But we can discuss it later. Get me out of here. Now! Fine. Uh, don't want to get all muddy, I see. I suppose you're a hat, and you'll just soak up all the mud, but still. Um, let's just head back here, then. Oh, let's see what's in here. Ah, nice little fairy fountain. Suck the life force from these fairies. Ah. Um. So, oh, I forgot to read, but there was a sign back there that said, um, don't forget your Pegasus boots. I think it said that. Um, we'll go back and read that later. But, there is a shoe store right here. So, let's take a look. And it looks like the shoemaker fell asleep. And it's snowing pretty loudly, too. So let's just shrink down, and the shoes that fell on the floor disappeared. Whatever. Let's go up here, and... Oh, there's some minish on his work desk. Hey, hey, you're Link, right? You're the one who brought the sword to Master Malari. You're on a quest to help the princess, aren't you? I wish I could go on a quest. But then, who'd make Rem shoes for him? He doesn't even make his own shoes. Oh, wow. Oh, ho, you need Pegasus boots. Why, you're just in time. We made a pair just a while ago. Well, uh, just now while Rem was sleeping. But only Rem can put the fi finishing touches on them. Aha, that sleepy head of Rem is nearly impossible to wake up. If you want to wake him, you'll need to get an item from Syrup's hut. It's a little bit of a trick, but we'll mark it on your map for you. Okay, it looks like it's at the top of the Minish Woods. So, let's head down there. <laughs> we want to get to those Pegasus boots. Gonna have to. Oh, and it looks like that air we cleaned up a while ago had a new salesman move in. Hello there, stuff. I sell all kinds of Picolite. I just put it in your bottle and good stuff happens when you drink it. Um, um I'm not sure if the effects are permanent or not. Because I've actually never purchased uh, this stuff. But, um, white makes you find more kidden stones. Uh, red makes you find more hearts. And, hmm, what does green do? I think it's rupees. No, more mysterious shells. I'm not gonna buy any of these though. Uh, I don't really need the stuff. But yeah, that's what that guy is there for. Um, hmm. Let's just head out this way then. And it looks like this, this guy's back at the ranch. I lost my key and I can't get inside. And spare keys inside the house. Hmm. Well, it looks like there's a hole there that we can enter through. If we're small. So shrink down, head over here, into the hole. Get big right here. And let's take a look around for this key of his. Oh, I, I happened to miss the pod that was right there and had the key. <laughs> you got the long old ranch key. Now you can open the doors to the ranch. Sweet, let's open the door. Oh, wait, Link can't open doors. What is wrong with him? Seriously. Whatever, let's just go outside and give them the key then. And every other character in this game can open doors, so... Let's just hand it to... I think that's Talon. I'm not too sure. Oh, our one and only spare key. I don't know how you got this, but I can't thank you enough. I broke into your house. How do you think I got it? 
tell me your name, kid. Yeah, I actually did break into his house. <laughs> He's fine with that, though. Link, that's a great name. If you ever need to go to Lake Hylia, uh, you're free to cut through our house. Okay. Thank you very much, Link. Come visit us again. <laughs> and she sings a Pona song when you talk to her. <laughs> um, let's just take him up on his offer and cut down through here. There's cows everywhere. How tranquil. And look at, at those cows. And those cows look so delicious. Oh. Yes. That's what I was thinking, as though. Ah, no. No. I'm actually a vegetarian, so... Yeah, screw you, Ezlo. No, I don't hate people who eat meat. But, let's head around here, I think is the right way. Yep. Push this rock in the hole. And grab our cane of Foxy to head up through here. Uh, let's shrink down and see what's over on the right. Grow faster, Link. Ah, just a chest. With a kinstone piece. Yay. Ah, uh, grow back up. And let's head into this vortex. I'm not sure. Are those more tornadoes or vortexes or whatever? I don't know. I'll just call them vortexes. Don't let there's anyone to argue about that. And head across this water because, as you've seen, Link can't swim. As you've seen from all the times I've fallen in the water. Yes, I'm terrible with that. Uh, there's Lakeside Cabin just down here. Um, we're not looking for that, but whatever. Let's just go up here. And syrup the witch's hut. Oh. There we go. Um, let's talk to her. Ah, welcome. Here for some of Granny's homemade blue potion. One sip and you'll be full of energy. Please look around. Well, we don't really want any of that potion. But, right here, there's a nice little mushroom. Ah yes, a fine choice, my dear. That's a limited time article. One with and you'll wake, and you're wide awake. That's why it's called a wake-up mushroom. Would you like to buy it for 60 rupees? Sure, why not? We've got the money. You got a wake-up mushroom. It's nasty stench chases away the sleepy nippies. The sleepies. <laughs> you got, you've got an eye for fine goods. That, my dear, is my highly regarded homemade blue potion. Y you said that already. But I don't want any. Because I have a fairy in a bottle. So, up we go. Do I want to go this way? Actually, if we can head down this way first. And head left around. And before we couldn't get to this piece of heart, but you just walk around. We've got three of them now, one more. And a new heart container. Pretty nice. Push that rock in the hole. I missed that. Um, one more try, and then I'm gonna have to cut this off because it looks like we're out of time. So there's a Goron here. Next time, I'll find out what's up with him. He looks like he wants to use kinstones. So, uh, bye.